Now let's talk about the gibberellin biosynthesis pathway. Plant cells produce the G8-12 or gibberellic acid 12 as the primary precursor of gibberellin. This G8-12 will be utilized in plant cell cytoplasm to make many different varieties of gibberellins. So let's see the gibberellin synthesis pathway. The gibberellin synthesis pathway in plants involved different locations in the plant cell. Plastid, endoplasmic reticulum, particularly the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the cytoplasm. The process begins in the plastid, then move to the rough endoplasmic reticulum and then finishes off in the cytoplasm. So let's begin. Let's start with the precursor that is isopentyl pyrophosphate IPP which is a 5 carbon compound and this is modified into dimethylyl diphosphate or DMAPP which is also a 5 carbon compound. Now we will see the association of dimethylyl diphosphate or DMAPP's association with IPP and they will make a polymerization there and the number of carbon will start to increase via this process. So isopentyl pyrophosphate IPP which is 5 carbon compound will associate with dimethylyl diphosphate or DMAPP and now they will form a 10 carbon geranyl diphosphate or GPP. Then comes another isopentyl pyrophosphate and it will associate with the geranyl diphosphate and now they will become 15 carbon compound farnesyl diphosphate or FPP. Then comes another isopentyl pyrophosphate and associate with the farnesyl diphosphate and now they will become a 20 carbon compound geranyl geranyl diphosphate or GGPP and this GGPP will be further converted into ENT copalyl diphosphate by an enzyme copalyl diphosphate synthase CPP which is found inside the plastic of the plants. And this ENT copalyl diphosphate will be further converted into ENT chlorine by an enzyme known as chlorine synthase, which is also found in the plastids of the plant cell. Now, this ENT chlorine is ready to be transported inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And this ENT chlorine inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum will be converted into ENT chlorinoic acid by the enzyme chlorine oxidase so simple oxidation reaction done in the rough endoplasmic reticulum and the enzyme chlorine oxidase is present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum now this ENT chlorinoic acid will be further oxidized by the enzyme chlorinoic acid oxidase or KAO into gibberellic acid 12 or GA12 which is known as the primary source of gibberellin produced by the plant cell and once this G12 is produced in the rough endoplasmic reticulum it is ready to go and move out of this endoplasmic reticulum inside the cytosol it will move inside cytosol and then further modification of the G8 will, will be done and will get different varieties of gibberellins like GA1, GA2, GA53, GA20 and so many more varieties of gibberellins in the plant cells involved in specific activities.